Can you make real big money by using DIY food delivery apps like Postmates? Last year I had credit card debt which was around 10 to 12K. And I used Postmates, the food delivery app, to cut that down. Five to six months later, I had zero credit card debt. But I did Postmates from 5 p.m. to 10 or 9 p.m. every day after my office job. I got a few tickets, I got in a car crash, and my insurance went up. So is Postmates really worth it? I'm here with my friend Nicole. Have you ever done DIY food apps, like delivery? Have you ever delivered? No, I haven't. Do you think it's worth it, being a delivery person? Do you think you'll actually make money? Wait, oh, that's a hard, that's a hard answer, like, question. Cause like, I feel like if it's busy, and you actually like put time into it, you'll make money. But if you're just doing it kind of like here and there, I don't feel like you're gonna make any money. Like I don't even know how much you get paid or anything, or, like how it works, because I've never done it, you know? Well, today I'm taking you guys and Nicole to Postmates. <laughs> My first time, wait. Wait, I'm gonna post piece with you. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. So Nicole says she didn't know how to do Postmates, but and the first thing you have to do is turn it on. And now, Nicole, we wait. <laughs> Still waiting for a ding. Have you ever done like one hour of Postmates and not gotten a ding at all? Um, no, but always when I turn it off in the last minute, when I give up, then someone dings me. We're just waiting. It's 6 12. Still waiting for this the call from Postmates. We're only gonna do it for an hour. So by 7 10, I'm done. Still nothing. First one! Got we one? got a first one! Yes! And then there's... <laughs> now what you have to do is push accept. So now we're going to Press Juicery, Manhattan Beach to pick up... Jesus, seven orders. <laughs> um, Alright, so now we drive. So right now we're at 117... 1,387 miles on my car. We're gonna see how much mileage that Postmates takes <laughs> so we can compare if it's worth it. Right after you park, you go get the food or drinks from the store. So now we're gonna go to Creation. Creation. That is pressed. Creation Press, jeez. Uh-oh, where are we going? And, yeah, Press, we're going to Press. So what you do now <laughs> is walk to the store <laughs> and say, I'm here to pick up blank from Postmates. It's really hard. Right now it's 6.30. It's only been like 20 minutes since we started. Since we turned on the map. Where is it 10? Uh, Press juicery, he found it. 
Okay, that'll be awesome. Yeah. That's all you do. And then you want to check if all the items are on there. Jesus, look how much that juice. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, it's all in there. Okay. Oh, and then one crazy thing about first meets is they don't tell you where you're going after you pick up someone's food or drink. So as you can see, I'm going to write push picked up. Complete pickup. Then it tells you where they go. So sometimes you could be picking up in Torrance and then out of nowhere they're taking you to downtown LA to drop off soggy food. Yeah, I have a question though. Yeah. Who actually wants soggy food? Well, I think no one and then that's why I don't get tips. Because <laughs> they get their soggy food. But I feel like you should be aware of where you're ordering food. So let's just say you're in downtown LA and you're ordering Red Robin and there's no Red Robin by you. Of course the Red Robin's gonna be from Torrance. And of course the food's gonna get cold. <laughs> let's just be logical, people. Okay, now let's drive to this residence. We just picked up our first Postmates and Mazen reminded me that our cutoff time is at 7.10 and it's already 6.35. 6.35 and we haven't even delivered the first post. Yeah. So far, Mazen, I say it's not worth it. Well, we're only doing one hour today and because we started, I started late. Yeah, so we're so. gonna see how that goes. But so far, one hour is not worth it. I think you need to do more than one hour, but we'll see what happens at the end of the hour. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't they think might it. tip crazy, or they might tip zero, which is probably the case. <laughs> <laughs> so, on my Postmate app, I have it to um, pick up orders automatically. Right now, I just got a ding saying that we got another pickup, which Woo! means, hey, it's faster than getting our first order. Hopefully the food restaurant is by this person's house though. I'm not 20 minutes away. <laughs> Does that happen? Sometimes. It makes no sense. Like the food orders are far from each other? Yeah, and I think it's because I have my thing as automatic that they just do it on purpose to piss me off sometimes. <laughs> but it's extra money for your buck. Oh. And now that we're at their house, you give them the package. <laughs> Uh, that's the drinks. Cool. The drinks are food. Yeah. The Postmates. The Postmates. You give them the Postmates. So <laughs> now that we're done with that Postmates, you have to push um, deliver to customer. And then, so we made 439 before tip for that 30 to 40 minutes. <laughs> and uh, you don't know if someone tips you until the day after, if they do it by card, or if they give you the cash, then you know. But sometimes, people forget to tip, which is understandable. So that means that you made $4.39 in that 40 minutes, or how, 30 minutes, it was 30 minutes. But if that person tips you well, whoa! It's did, about then. to be 50 minutes. Oh. <laughs> no, 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 40 minutes, uh, never mind, wait. My math is off. 40, yeah, 40 minutes. 40 minutes, we made four dollars and thirty-nine cents. That means we made a dollar for ten for ten minutes. And my mile is one seventeen three ninety-three. So before I go, I'm gonna check where this ramen is. Uh, uh, boom! Should be really close. Oh, look at that! Only two minutes away. And then you get to a place and you do it all over again. You ask them, hey, I'm here to pick up your postmates. Name blank. You get the picture. Easy peasy. The dudes order 
And then you push pick up and let's see where this dude lives. Hopefully it's close. Not too bad. It's, that's why I like doing it around the beach area because they're also close to each other. But if you go in LA or like not the beach area. Oh shit, we got another order. Damn, I forgot to turn it off. <laughs> It's okay. <laughs> um, just turn it off. Make sure you turn it off after this one. <laughs> so now, okay, we're gonna do three then. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna turn it off. Yeah. Okay, so now we have to deliver this food, go pick up another food, and then deliver again, and then we're done. Fingers crossed, it's gonna be around 7:10 because I still have to go edit these videos. Uh, <laughs> And then you drop it off. <laughs> now that one's completed. We're gonna do deliver to customer. And then we made four dollars before tip. Eight dollars in one hour. Eight dollars in one hour and maybe tip. You didn't give me cash tip, so maybe other tip. And then we got canceled the other delivery dude or the other restaurant. Nothing personal. I think there was just a closer driver. But I'm gonna say we're gonna log out now and just end 10 minutes early. Just because if there's another one, it's gonna take another 40 minutes for four dollars. <laughs> Not sure if I wanna do that yet. So I'm gonna go offline. And now Nicole, is it worth it? Okay, we made eight dollars in less than one hour but we used gas but we don't know if they gave us tip we don't know if they gave us tip so i guess i have to, i guess if they gave us tip not like a dollar <laughs> but if they gave us tip then it's like working one hour in a rush like in any place because minimum wage is what well actually no minimum wage is twelve dollars <laughs> Just $12. Is it worth it? No, it's not. Maybe today is not worth it. Maybe. But feel free and subscribe to my channel. And, and hopefully like tomorrow button. it might be different. And maybe Postmates is worth it. Welcome to the Postmate Journal. <laughs>